investigation. I think the problem with the investigation is not the existence of the investigation, but the scope of the investigation. Uh, the problem with it is that it's focused right now, at least, on interrogators who exceeded their authority. And I don't have any problem with prosecuting in, and investigating interrogators who exceeded their authority. But any fair investigation has to be broad enough to encompass not just those interrogators, but also the senior officials who authorized torture uh, and, the, and the lawyers who facilitated torture. And among the senior officials who I think uh, are most responsible for, for putting this torture program into place uh, is vi former Vice President Cheney. Uh, and so I don't think it's, it's, a, it's a big surprise, certainly not a big surprise to me that former Vice President Cheney is opposed to the investigation. And I think we saw this once already with, with Abu Ghraib. We saw how that uh, was dealt with by the Bush administration. And there was an effort to make it seem like the prisoner abuse problem uh, was a problem right. traceable to a few bad apples or to rogue soldiers. Uh, and, and I think that, that to, 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 to lay all of the blame on, on the low-level people who, uh, in many cases, were just carrying out orders from above, right. uh, or, or at the very least, were, were engaged in abuse that was tolerated above, uh, I think that that's inexcusable. And I don't want to see that happen again with the CIA. Here, many of the abuses, uh, many of the most horrendous abuses, uh, were not undertaken by people who were uh, ignoring constraints imposed from above. These are people who were following orders. Uh, right. CIA interrogators were following orders. Right. Uh, and that's, that's not to say that I think that the CIA interrogators are blameless in this, uh, but to pretend that it was a problem uh, of rogue interrogators, I think, is crazy. Hey, guys. Uh, hey guys.